All right, John, this is a big one. I've this I've, is I've a big heard one, man. people want to know about our destiny. About our destiny. It I is, don't really put much faith in destiny it, and fate and all that crap. So, you know. It is your wait. destiny, John. Okay, I'm sorry. I just looked at the screen. It's a game destiny? Is that what we're talking about? Yes. Welcome, everybody, to Super Awesome Video Game Show here on Rage Select. I am Jeff. I'm John. Uh, and we're going to take a look at the alpha for Destiny. And this may end up either being a super long one episode or maybe even two, depending on how much we get through, because I kind of want to show a little bit of everything here. I'm game. Uh, so we, we got this is the PlayStation 4 version of Destiny. Uh, the, they had the whole E3 sign-up thing. I got myself a beta code, installed it, and been playing the shit out of it. Uh, and I think that this actually would go a long way towards answering a lot of people's questions about what exactly Destiny is and what it is not. So, um, oh, can I? I only have three slots to make three different characters. Okay. Well. Uh, oh, well, that's a little disappointing. No, it's fine. We can we can show off a few things with a few different characters. So, hey, everybody, this is Destiny. Um, I'm going to go ahead. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead and delete one of my characters. I'm going to delete this guy. Was that our, the first one that we yeah, uh, played yeah. the other day? Yeah, yeah. We'll just recreate this character because I've got a couple. The beta only goes up to level eight, and it looks like you've only got three slots. So when you get when you start, you get to basically you have three different classes, uh, and these classes are actually tied to your three base stats in the game. Uh, so titans have the highest armor stat, so they can take more damage. Uh, hunters have the highest like mobility stat, so they move and jump and shit faster. And then warlocks have the highest like recovery stat, which means that they oh. recover their life faster than any of the other classes. Uh, but all that stuff can really be customized. Then, as you can see, they also all have like a power. So the warlocks do an explosive bolt of void light, uh, dis disintegrating anybody caught in the blast. Uh, the hunters do they summon a, a sun gun? They call it nice. a solar gun that basically get like three shots of this super powerful gun and then it goes away. And unfortunately, since it tops out at eight, we can't actually get up to level 15 ah, powers. Okay. And then um, the uh, Titans do uh, Striker, which is actually very similar to the Warlock's ability, except that you actually, your character pounds the ground. So like the Warlock ability shoots and then this yeah. character actually jumps in there. Basically, your Titan is your, your, your run in, your gun, you beat the crap out of things, you get up close and personal. Yeah, a little whereas your warlock is stay a little bit further away. Yep, stay it's a little bit further away. So we've got human males and females. We've got uh, which is pretty self-explanatory. Right? We got exos, which are robots, uh, lady robots, a little RC action in there. Um, and then we've got Awoken, which are blue people, and I don't Basically know. Basically, the people from uh, Prometheus. Yeah, the engineers from Prometheus. So yeah. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to just run through a few of these things. This. Little virtual mouse thing is okay. It's a little weird, but it, it's weird to me that it has this like virtual mouse pointer thing, which you're controlling with the the the, the dual sticks. Yeah, with um, the left the left uh, D pad, the left, the left stick D pad, whatever. And it's like or, what weirds me out about that is the fact that uh, this game is not on PC. Yeah, that is a little odd. Um, let's see, what kind of hair should we give our crazy blue dude? Oh, that is some anime as hell hair right there. Yeah, it is. Let's make some blue anime hair. How about this? How about the swoop? Emo swoop? Looks like he's wearing like a, a wig. It's like he's... Here we go. Here we go, John. He's like... Oh. Yeah, I'm totally in a band. We play on Thursdays down <laughs> at the at the Taco Shacks. Uh, our, oh, my God. Look at that. Wow! That, that is absolutely berserk, and I'm going to go ahead and stick with it. Um, you know, this is kind of your standard stuff. We yeah. got this cat face, a little meow meow. Uh, how about a little bit of... The, got some of this crazy yeah crazy uh i'm just gonna i gotta pick pick one of these and then we'll get on with it well it's also what i think is also interesting about this and, and kind of something that you, you'll notice outside of the the what's referred to or what we're referring to as the hub world mm -hmm. whatever you want to call it yeah you don't really see your character's face no when you're out in the yeah when you're actually out in the game world you're wearing a helmet the entire time um, Yeah, so it kind of feels like it's which is a little weird, I think, for the robots specifically. Yeah. Where the robots put a helmet on, I'm like, so you, why not, why don't you just reinforce your head, robot people? Like that seems like it would be. It doesn't work that way, Jeff. Okay, maybe it doesn't. 
Oh, look, Bungie loves us. Yay. They love us. So um, I'm going to show the rest of this as we go on, but when you start the game out, you start out in this area, which is in the alpha. It's actually a very, very large area. Yeah. It doesn't at first seem that way, but as you do, there's a, a different mission type that we'll show a little bit later. But So it looks like, for at least for the alpha, there's um, four different gameplay modes. There is your story mission, which is where we're starting here. Then there is... Um, uh, kind of where they let you out into the world and you can just do missions that come up, radiant missions infinitely to grind for experience. Then they have raids, and then there's the standard multiplayer matches. Yeah, this this game, I, and I, th I think it's okay. safe. The sky well, watch is just on the other side of the steps. And you have Peter Dinklage. Uh, and it's surrounded by fallen. Uh, let's see well, here. I'm ready if you are. I'm gonna, I was going to try, just in case anybody changes my or uh, joins my game, I was going to try to turn off the voice comms, but you know what? I haven't oh, had much of a okay. problem with that. So, yeah. this is the world of Destiny, and Which I gotta say... looks pretty damn ooh, beautiful. It is pretty. Um, so, in this world, I mean, from what we know of the E3 story trailer, yeah. uh, there was the, the Traveler, which I don't know if we can see the Traveler from here. Um, doesn't look like it. Um, the Traveler was this giant ball that came, and then there was a bunch of, like, uh, people... There was a lot of advancement in yeah. humanity, but then the darkness came, uh, it follows the traveler around, and so things are a little bit. Th this is after the fall, and your character is out here basically just doing stories. So this is like in Russia. This is a, a, a used to be some kind of interplanetary facility, but it's now like all ruined. Yeah. Turn it down a little bit. Um, it's all in ruins um, because of whatever the, you know, whatever the issues are that happened, or whatever the fall was. Uh, it's. It's um, it's just basically <coughs> everything is is messed up. So like in this area, you'll see like tanks, and you'll see these kind of ruined structures and stuff. Um, yeah. Now one of the things that I really actually enjoy the the gameplay is very Halo, very very Halo. Um, you have a primary weapon. Um, you have a primary weapon, and then you have a secondary weapon, which is your special. You start out with a shotgun. And then you also have um, a grenade, which, as you can see down there in the bottom left, it actually recharges. Each one of the classes has a different grenade, and each one of the yeah. classes also has a different melee. So, like, the uh, Titan's melee is a punch, but the Hunter's melee is a knife attack. Oh, and we'll okay. see um, there's actually a whole skill tree that alters that particular thing because everybody has a few different unique powers. There's also stuff like these spin metal leaves that you can pick up in the environment that you can trade into vendors for rank and stuff like that. And actually, I just picked up a weapon, so we can even take a look here at... Um, so I have an auto rifle, which is basically just machine gun by default. Uh, but then this is a scout rifle, and let's see. They're both equal in... Uh, I mean, so you can actually do this. You can actually hold down R2 to compare the two of them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go with the scout rifle for right now. Yeah. And then I've got another shotgun, which is less. You can also pulp any of these into... Yeah. Um, what do I call them? Uh... Glimmer, Glimmer, which yeah. is your currency. Scout rifles are basically single-shot rifles as opposed to the auto rifles. Uh, and then you can also see here that your character has... This is your, your, your character's... Level up tree. Yeah, level up. So you start at level three. This is with a grenade and um, double jump, essentially. Yeah. Uh, now, as you level up, you'll... This, I'll, I'll, we'll come back to this, but as you level up, you actually move in this direction across these powers... Uh, so you'll start with Fist of Havoc, which is the the main ability for the Titan, and then you'll get Storm Fist, which is the melee ability that has a cooldown. Yeah. These you can see the green on the armor recovery and agility. These are actually um, this set just ups your um, okay ups your stats. But see what happens is as you use these things, like as you use the grenade to kill people, it'll fill up this. And what happens is that this main tier fills up, and I can't tell how it's going to happen when you get over level eight. Yeah. But what'll happen is, as I use the grenade, it'll eventually unlock this sub tier, so I can change the regular flashbang grenade to a pulse grenade. You can basically this green highlight, you move it down, and you highlight that one instead, and you'll have an alt essentially. So when you come over here, you see how this Titan Codex one is like it's upping mostly your armor recovery, or you could have it on this one that gives you more, yeah, agility, more agility, or you could have on this one that gives you more recovery. So yeah. you're going to definitely have ways to to very much customize your character. Then you also have 
you know, all this different armor. Yeah. So right I will say what I was going to say earlier. Oh, yeah. Also. Is that uh, the this game kind of. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I love this shit. Vehicle. Uh, one of the things I was going to say earlier is that playing playing the game a little bit that I got to play with you the other day. Mm-hmm. Um, this game very much reminds me of three things. Yeah. Borderlands, obviously. The, right. That, that comparison has been given out there. Halo, which yep. you mentioned already. Mm-hmm. And uh, it kind of also, the way the, because it is kind of a, has an MMO feel to it. Yeah. Um, it kind of reminds me of Fantasy Star Online. Okay. Because uh, this game has like a centralized hub world where you get missions or whatnot. And then you have like your, you know, your your air, your open world area and your area where you can go to like do specific missions mm-hmm. and stuff like that, which was very similar to Fantasy Star Online, at least from what I remember of it. Yeah. Um. And, and I just, like I said, I think that's a comparison that I wanted to bring up at least once on the show. Yeah. So that people can be like, oh my God, John is so smart. It's exactly like Fantasy you're Star Online. S- John, you're so smart. I know. Uh, John sitting is so hot right now. Um. So I, I absolutely love this little. The little speeder thing that you get. Yeah, it's oh, looks like somebody else is already actually in your game. Well, they're in my game, but they're clearing out the area. So let's see if I can get this guy in my fire team if he stops. Um, We're in. This was one of Skywatch's old array stations. So, a link um, if I can get close enough to him, I can join up with him, and we can be in a. Oh, did he go away? So now what is what is that? Uh, I don't know. It seems to be. I, I it might it might signal a transition to like um like an instance. Okay. Uh, yeah. I think that that might be what it is, but I'm not entirely certain. Which would certain. also explain why he disappeared. Right. I can get it open. Um. So yeah, you'll encounter people running around, and you can basically just highlight them, and you can bring them. You can basically create a fire squad with them. Yeah. Uh, and when you do that, whoever's the leader, it's like wherever they go, the other people will just follow them into. They're into that game. Yeah. Uh, it's also what I was going to say before. Um, enemies in this game respawn constantly, so it's kind of interesting in that way where there is no clearing an area. Like you'll kill stuff in an area, and then as soon as you come back, uh, things will be. Bad feeling about this. Well, thank you, Tyrion. It's it's dark and it's full of barnacles. Of course, it's a bad feeling. Now this is a third faction uh, in here. Which you've got the the kind of robot guys we were seeing before, but then we've got the hive, the hive. and the hive seems like they're more of an organic um, type of thing. Yeah. Whereas the um, the other guys that we were fighting were more like robots. Um, so what you'll end up doing, I, like so far, I've seen two elemental damage types. Yeah. One is electricity, and the other one is oh, is um, you know what? I'm gonna go upgrade real fast. Uh, the other one is fire. And fire seems to work way better on the hive. Oh, okay. And electricity seems to work way better on the other guys, which I can't for the life of me remember right this second. So this is my class's like special ability. And bottom, about on the bottom left-hand corner, right above my grenade, you'll see that there's a little sliver of blue. When that fills all the way up, then I can actually... You can actually use it. Use it, yeah. You know, you guys, I don't want to have to be a jerk, but... Um, but yeah, the the enemy types and the classes and things like that kind of really remind me of, of Halo, a lot. Like the hive is kind of like the grave mind or yeah. whatever, and or the flood. The uh, flood, yeah. And the uh, and the other guys are a lot like the Covenant. Yeah, the Covenant and everything, <clears throat> uh, which was a little disconcerting at first because it's like, oh, they're just repeating what they've already done. I mean, you know, but I'm not going to sit here and tell you that you your ghost, the, which is yeah. Tyrion Lannister, this thing right here, that is totally guilty spark, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. I. So this is your first. Oh, God damn it. Um, this is your first kind of encounter with one of the boss types. Uh, here in just a second, so I get through these guys. No. Nope. I wish that they were a little bit more upfront about when your. Um, when your uh, powers were recharged. Yeah. There was something like on your reticle, maybe, instead of having to look down. Yeah, that was a waste of a grenade. Um, yeah, no, I definitely agree with that. It it, it, it does feel like with the, the, the MMO HUD base that they have, it, it kind of doesn't... Because you're always looking at your reticle. Right. You're not always looking at the corner of the screen. I mean, you know, it's it, it's not a huge complaint oh, no, or no, anything. No, 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 it's no. Just, oh, no, not at all. I just wish that, you know, sometimes... Because there are, you're going to have at least three different abilities that have a cooldown. One is your grenade, one is your melee power, and the third one is that bar on the top. Now, if I, 
There's the wizard. Okay. Flying wizard. Yep. Let me get rid of these assholes first. Maybe I can use my special on the wizard. Um, there we go. Oop. Uh-oh. Yeah, I was going to say, you might want to go uh, yep. run away so you can heal your uh, shield there, sir. Yep. I do like shotguns in this game, but, man, there are plenty of encounters where having to be up close is a real pain in the ass. Okay, I really need to get rid of all these assholes. Well, don't, they, don't they respawn? No, I think you can eventually get rid of all of them and just oh, okay. fight the fight the wizard oh, when, okay. when you and i were when we first looked at this encounter i think i was trying to do both at the same time but ah. if you just kill these guys there are a lot of them but if you kill them i think that you can just take on the wizard all by yourself this is yeah. actually a very much easier encounter if you have just one other person with you um all right folks sorry oh. we had a, a bit of a crash it's alpha after all so it happens uh, it happens uh so we're back trying to kill the wizard i'm, I'm just going to kind of go right after him this time and try not to die um, headshots work really well in this game. Let's see if I've got my grenade is ready. Kill them. Ooh, nice bounce on that one. Okay, let's see if I can. Shit, that nice. didn't hit him. That was, that was a special, yeah. Yeah, it didn't. May not have hit him, but it took out quite a few of them. So that's yeah. at least that happened. God damn it! I hate being out of special ammo. Uh, so this is kind of one of the things that you'll see quite a bit is uh, there's uh, uh, any of the bosses that have like a yellow uh, yeah. a yellow name uh, tend to be more difficult and tend to require like they're always easier to deal with with multiple people yeah. instead of by yourself. Um, dude, I really would appreciate it if you could just fucking die already. God damn it! I just Your walked poison. right into his poison. Yep. Punch you right uh, in the balls. Uh, you, you just, you, you. Yep. So that uh, happened. when you die, um, you go back to the last uh, checkpoint that you were at. Uh, and when you're in multiplayer, if you die, um, uh, <coughs> and he's back up to full health. Ah. Yep. Uh, in multiplayer, if you die, um, a one person, if one person is still alive, you can still continue to oh, fight. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's just if all of you die that it takes you back to the last checkpoint. Um, in single player, I've, when you're outside on the, like, overworld map, or <laughs> I, is that what you even call that? But yeah. um, when you're outside, uh, if you die, it just sets you back a little bit. It doesn't actually, because there is no checkpoint. Jesus. Um, yeah. This is a really unpleasant fight. And I hate the fact that this asshole has a shield. God damn it. You can do it, Jeff. Uh, there is, if there is so far one problem that I've had with this, it's been uh, that the there here. are plenty of areas in this game that are very grindy and repetitive. Yeah. Uh, where you have enemies like this wizard that just take for fucking ever to kill. God damn Damn, damn, man. Shit. It's okay, Jeff. I know. Try this one more time. See if I'd be a little bit more conservative. I was trying to hurry. That's my problem. Yeah, Should don't hurry. Remember my Dark Souls lessons. Yes. Um, You're essentially one manning a, uh, a, a, a dungeon for an MMO, man. While it's doable. Tend to have to take your time a little bit. Yeah. It is a weird thing, you know, when you starting with this guy. Uh, I mean, the first time that I did this, I think somebody jumped into my game. Yeah. And it really did help out quite a bit because there are plenty of places like there. Uh, we might actually get to see one of the raid encounters. Out. Oh, there we go. Woo! Uh, oh, and then you died. <laughs> and then I died. I wonder if uh, if I still have the. Uh, the darkness could be a lot closer. Uh, the, I'm not sure if this is actually going to pan out really well. I'm I hit the button to respawn. Okay, I'm just going to go to orbit. Probably for the best. 
if I have the void claws still, that's all that really matters is whether I got the drop from that boss is what you need to. Um, okay, so it looks like I got that. Let me just take a look in my inventory. You do have a full on inventory. Oh, yep, yep, got the mission reward, the warping, warping claws. claws. Uh, what the, one of the things that I find a little bit weird about this that might need to change before the game comes out yeah. is that you can actually buy consumables, but okay. in order to when you know when you're actually playing the game, in order to get to them, you have to go into your inventory and then um, consume them and consume them. Uh, which I think I would maybe like it if there was some kind of like the D pad. Right now, the D pad is for emotes, but if there was something where you could assign uh, items or something like that, something that's a little, little bit more elegant than having to stop. Go into a menu, hit a thing, and yeah. hit a button. Um, also, it's worth noting that you know there are no menus here. So what I just did was I set up to go to the hub where all of the shops and all of the social interaction stuff is. Yes. Um, and every time you do that, it it does this. It has to load, and you watch your ship here in orbit. And it's a little. It gets a little old after a while. Um, I I yeah, would it's, prefer. It's pretty. It's nice. It looks great. Yeah. The first couple dozen times you do it but um so that is kind of the real basics of this so from here we're going to go take a look around uh around the the hub world and then we're going to go take a look at what the open uh, area is like and then i'm going to switch over to a different character we're going to take a look at a raid and then we're going to take a look at the multiplayer so that's our agenda while this loading screen bs is going on the only thing is, I usually, when you're on these loading screens, you can't access your inventory. So yeah. what I'll do is set up and then go in and compare stuff and mess around with stuff. So, And now here's the, this hub world kind of thing is kind of your, uh, where the only time the game is in third person. Yeah. Well, no, when, you're on well your, when you're on your bike. But, when you're you on know. your bike, too. But I so mean. that's the Traveler, I think. That's what they call it. And this is uh, the last, I mean, it says like the last human city. Um in this area, you've got the postmaster where you can get mail. Uh, we'll come out to a few more of these things once I get through here. But down here... Anyone familiar with MMOs will be like, oh, that's this vendor or that's that. Right. Like crucible handler. Basically, crucible is your multiplayer. Uh, so the crucible handler and the crucible quartermaster, like when you play the multiplayer, you, can, you get crucible points that you can trade in for different stuff. This guy sells vehicles and he'll also let you see I got the spin metal. I can give him 20 spin metal and basically he'll translate that into crucible points. So if you don't want to play multiplayer, you can still pick some of this stuff up just by collecting those little plants. Right. Um, and there's actually a few different sorts. Um, oh yeah. Also, John, I think this is very important. Uh, hold on. Not that. There you go. Do, 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 do. Slash dance. This is very important. Yeah. So it's important for every game yeah. that's online. Yeah. It's the future, but there's still plenty of dumb dancing. Yep. Um, so here you've got your three. These are like your kind of your character handlers. So this guy handles the Titans. Um, and we're going to trade in our claws for probably hella, hella good armor. Let's see. What, do we, what did we get? Do one of those three. Hold on. What did, uh, what did he give me? This is 21. Now, I always pick the... The chest because it's um, it's really cool. Now, one of the things it says there it says discipline plus nine. I haven't been able to find there's like discipline and like intelligence and things like that. Yeah, I haven't been able to f really find those in the game. Huh. Um, I mean, like here we are, my character. You've got inventory. Like if you go here to your character, uh, this you can see army armor armor re and recovery. Right, but I don't see any of the rest of those stats. Um, I don't know if that's something that comes later if I just don't know where to look. But So here's an interesting thing. You see how this armor is green? Yeah. Whenever you have a green type item in this game, you can hit the triangle button, and it will take you into, like, there's sub things. So <clears throat> as I wear this armor more, you'll this thing will level up, and when it gets all the way leveled up, I can equip it, which will give me, will let me carry more pulse rifle ammunition. Nice. Which, as you go further on in the game, you will find that ammunition is, like, um, uh, extremely important. Okay. Uh, because ammunition doesn't refill, ever. Uh, you, you have to pick it up, right? So uh, when you're dealing with ammunition for your main weapon, for your special weapon, and then eventually you get your heavy weapon... Um, you really managing your ammunition is a big is a big part of it because um, you don't want to be caught in a in an engagement without ammo. Yeah, obviously. Uh, 
All right, so I'm going to go ahead and grab a few things here. Get this helmet, arms and legs. And helmet, 18, 21. I'll break the rest of these down. Nice. Yeah, one thing I actually thought was interesting is that the, you know, in most MMOs you create your character what they look like and then you you basically as you level up, you you want to have like the most pretty armor so that, you know, so you can show it off. That's mm -hmm. kind of your your uh what you want to call it, I guess your 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 virtual penis. Um, <laughs> is your is the type of armor you have. You want to be the badass. You want to have the armor that everyone is like, "Oh my god, I want that." Right. Um what I did th think was interesting is that this this game has the obviously the 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 character creation you create what your character looks like yeah and then it has the armor but then it also has clothing that you can put over the armor oh you're talking about like the little sash like that the little I have? sash and apparently from what I was reading like there are in later parts of the games you can actually get like hoods and uh, like jackets and well and each one of the classes has a different has a different okay you need to just show me his ass um, has a different one of these yeah. little like flares yeah. Um, that you can put on, like the hunters have a hood and a cape, um, and there's actually, you know, well, I don't want to go all the way back down there, but as you, there's some that you can buy with like vanguard marks and stuff, yeah, that are different. Uh, all right, so I think I'm gonna go. We've seen an auto rifle, we've seen a pulse rifle, or pulse rifle is a three round burst. Um, auto rifles, full auto. Scout rifles, what we were using before. I think I'm going to go with a hand cannon this time. I haven't used one of those yet. So here you can see that these, 100, 250, and 950, these are refilling your base ammo, special ammo, and your heavy ammo. Okay. Uh, and then this guy uh, is your, <coughs> um, is basically, you know, your, your gun dealer. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up a sniper rifle. Feels good, right? Uh, and so we're going to go with, Pistol and sniper rifle for the moment. All right. And then one more place to go before we leave. Uh, is this to check your mailbox? Yes. You got to see, is there spam? Is yeah. it spam? It's always spam. Um, no, the third place is you've got your hangar over here. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, where you can essentially, you remember, you see you know, the ship that we had? Yeah. I don't know what the difference is between different ships. It may end up being the sort of thing where you need a certain ship to go different places, but like, or as you level up, it changes or whatever. Right. So this guy will uh, will exchange those spin medals for vanguard points instead of guardian or uh, the whatever yeah. these are up here, yeah. crucible points, and you can use those to buy these different. You know, as you level up, as you get more of those points, it'll level up your Vanguard rank, and then you can use those to buy these different vehicles and different weapons that you get specifically. Like, you actually have to get to Vanguard rank one to buy any of these different weapons, and it takes, I think, like 100 Vanguard points to get up to level one. Um, so, and then one last stop. This is your shipwright. And, yes, she's just giving me the things that I already have. Um, so you can buy these different ships, which oh. are pretty hot. I don't exactly know what they're going to do. I really like the way this one looks. I think it looks really cool. But um, you can also buy these different uh, different vehicles. These are just the speeders that I had that would pop yeah. up. But some of these actually have weapons on them. Oh. Uh, so you can actually use them that way. Yeah. So from here, I'm going to go ahead and go back up to my ship, and we're going to go take a look at the second type of... Uh, gameplay, and then I think we're going to close out. What's what's our time look like over there? <coughs> okay, we'll uh, we're actually going to have to do a part two with this. Okay, so we'll end up uh, with the second part. We'll do a um, we'll do a multiplayer, and then we'll do uh, uh, the raid with one of my other characters, um, since they're all kitted out and stuff already. Yeah, I'm down for that. Yep. Oh man, there's there's a lot going on in here, uh, and I like it because one of the things that, th th I mean, you know, I, I don't really have a, a huge amount of like hate in my heart for Halo, John. Yeah, but oh, no. it's it's a, it's a simplistic game, right? It's it's more based on player skill, and I love the idea that this plays a lot like Halo in the fact that you can get hit, right? It's not like a Call of Duty where if you get shot you just die, right? Yeah, you have a little bit of leeway as far as getting shot and making decisions. But then you can also really customize your character and spec it the way that you want. Um, where I've had 
you know, I've been in groups with people where all the different powers, they really work very, very well together. Um, and then they've got some really interesting, I don't know, just the way the whole thing, the whole game fits together, yeah. I really enjoy it. Yeah, no, it, it feels like it fits together really well. And, and I got to say, it's, I, I think something you and I were talking about the last time I was over here, when we before we, obviously before we were recording, yeah. um, is that this game is minus, you know, this game kind of reminds me of what I thought Titanfall was going to be, mm -hmm. except, you know, it, it would have mechs in addition to the way this game plays. Right. But Dude, you need to get over here, you jerk off. <laughs> He's running from you. Uh, but, like, th this this kind of reminds me of what I was, or basically look, plays and looks like what I thought. Titanfall what I was, would be? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so oh, just, just a little bit more open world with it, not so much... Map, you know, like multiplayer, you know, Call of Duty multiplayer, right? Or hip Battlefield multiplayer, or whatever the heck studio it was that made they made. So when you're in this mode, you'll see these these little green marks, and with these, you basically pick up a mission. And for this one, uh, this is a scouting mission. So what um, I think Nathan Fillion wants us to do. Uh, sound, that dude sounds a lot like Nathan Fillion, is where you need to go to a specific location and stand there for a little while, uh, which you can see that little mark on yeah. there, also the map. Uh, it's also worth noting, or it should be worth, it should be noted that, um, oh shit, man, they just spawned a whole bunch of dudes. Yeah, um, because that's where they want you to go. Um, that the map on this game is really interesting. Yeah. In the upper left-hand corner, because it doesn't have dots like most, uh, oh yeah, it does like most it, yeah. games do. It just gives you kind of a threat direction. Um, I love punching guys, John. I really do. I, I I am the same way. I really like punching dudes. It's one of the reasons I like the uh, the the Titan class and its punching abilities. Also, it's worth noting that um, the way that the double jump works for the characters is different. Like my scout doesn't have this like thrust. Like um, like this character does. Okay. They seem to move a little differently. Also, chest. Look, it's a chest. Loot chest. Mm -hmm. So let's see what we got here. That's some Oops. arm stuff. Let's see if it's better than what I got. Yep. See, this one says discipline plus four, and then this one also has you see, uh, increases the reload speed of scout rifles. So there's a lot of loot here, and it all does very different things, um, which I really, I really enjoy that aspect of the game. Uh, it's not quite, I don't get the impression, or at least I thought I read something from developers that said that it isn't exactly randomized Diablo loot, um, that all the loot is actually created. Uh, but I just, like, when this beta caps out at 8, right? Yeah. At level 8. But there's totally a reason to keep playing it even after that because you can get, um, you can do stuff like level up those, those, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, like the grenade thing that I was showing you before. Yeah. You can get those sub skills leveled up, but then you can also kind of just grind uh, for loot because you see what uh, I just on the right hand side. You see that encrypted engram. Yeah, that is basically an unidentified piece of loot. Uh, so when you go back up to the uh, to the city, uh, there is a dude up there who will sell you kind of grab bag mystery loot, uh, but then he will also identify loot that you've picked up. And I haven't had any just yet, but I've actually seen in that guy's inventory that there is something above green. There is, like, blue loot. Yeah. Um, and I think that, like, some of those those speeders that we were looking at before were purple. Uh, so there is an MMO-style... Color uh, system. Yeah, color system for the loot. Oh, you little jerk. You know what? You know what's going to happen now? Guess what's going to happen now? I'm going to fucking run my speeder right up in your face. Uh-oh. I'm going to hide from him. Yeah, the fuck you are. Guess what's happening now, huh? Yeah, I what? do like... Boom! Nice. Ugh. I do like that you can... Uh, your little speeder thing, you can actually call that uh, at any time. Yep. Really. Well, I mean, you can't... Yeah, well, when you're in buildings, you yeah, can't. in buildings, you can't. But I you do can actually drive it into buildings, but then they usually put a thing in... Um, yeah, that makes you get off that of That makes it. you... Yeah, so that you can't go further with it. But yeah, I just like the fact that that thing's at your disposable at any time, really. Mm -hmm. And I do like the animation for when you call it and your character jumps up and it's oh. like, hey, look, 
ports in underneath them and everything. It looks really cool. Elder Vandal, huh? Stunned. You're stunned. Just touch him. Ugh. Shit. Just... Um, and I wonder if we're going to actually get a chance there's, to see any of the radiant, like, large-scale encounters yeah. that happen. Uh, every so often... Uh, you'll get a thing that pops up, and we've seen it before in some of the other Titanfall coverage, where it's or like Destiny. Uh, Destiny. I'm sorry, not Titanfall. Yeah, um, where it'll be like a random encounter, essentially. Yeah. Where suddenly you and a bunch of other people's games will kind of draw together, and there'll be a boss that you or like something that you need to do within a certain time limit. Um, that if you do it, you guys, you know, the rewards that you get are, are better. Yeah. The cool thing about it, though, is that even at, like, the one that I've seen most often is this, like, kind of spider tank. These guys yeah, are really the spider tank has been the one that I, I think is the, the big one that everyone is seeing. Punchy. Uh, there's another one that I've actually seen where you have to just defend these. You have to clear out these little, like, sub areas where drop ships come up and they just <sighs> drop a bunch of dudes. Um <sighs> But even if you don't actually do it, even if you don't actually manage to kill off the tank, like if you manage to do a certain amount of damage to it, it'll, it ranks you like bronze, silver, gold. Um, and if you manage to get enough of it down, you still get some, um, you still get some reward. You're supposed to scout them, not shoot them. I'm just standing here, letting the little thing go up. Okay, so I just every time it says like a bunch of ants, all I all I could think about John is what is this a mission for ants? Uh. <laughs> uh, so this is the storm fist. So now we've got um, the we've got the uh, the grenade that recharges. We've got the super mega assault that recharges, and then in addition to that, we also have whoop, we get one. Come here, buddy. Uh. Nice. Um, so when you're out here in this world, this world is very large, and as you can see, it just continue, continues to populate with new mission types. Um, so you can basically just sit out here forever with uh, your, your friends doing missions. And like I said before, these areas don't seem, they seem a little small when you're first in them, but they actually kind of go on forever. I'm going to see if I can't demonstrate um, they also uh, change constantly with uh, the sun will go up, the sun will go down, uh, it'll snow, it'll stop yeah. snowing, it'll be dark, it'll be light. All these things happen. And so it really... Uh-oh, whoa, uh -oh. whoa, whoa, uh -oh. whoa, whoa. Uh -oh. <sighs> All right, fine. You guys want a piece of me? That's fine. Oh. I love doing that. Apparently. Mm -mm. I just wish you could do it more often. There's actually so, but here's an interesting thing: is that the way that the, those powers work is interesting, in that like the um, <coughs> like the wizard yeah. has a power that attaches to the her melee, at, or well, I say her, but that was just I made a lady. Of course, to their you did. melee their melee attack, where if you successfully super melee somebody, it reduces the cooldown timer on I think your grenade. No. Oh. Which is an interesting interplay. Like, there's one with the um, with the hunter where when you pick up, if you pick up ammo, it reduces the cooldown time for uh, I think both your grenade and your melee attack. So, like with the hunter, the hunter's melee bonus yeah. is that they throw a knife. Oh, um, well, that's cool. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can't just. Oh. <coughs> Um, God, I just love looking at this game. This game is very pretty. It is, it is real pretty, and I love the fact that even though it's very, it's got a lot of brown to it. It, it like just the way that the overall lighting effects on the entire yeah. area change over time. Like it's really pretty to look at. Um, so I even found a place in this particular area, or that I'm in right now. I found enemies in here, and their level was listed as question mark question mark. Oh, yeah? And I could not... I was on a team of three people. We were all level eight. Oop. Uh, we were all level eight, which is the max level for this demo. Uh, could not... Like, headshot super weapons. 
one point of damage to them. Jesus. And it wasn't moving their health bar, like, at all. Um, so before we get done, because we're going to wrap up here pretty shortly, um, I want to show off just a couple of different places in this environment. If I can not die, that is. Jeff, yeah. come on. Uh, where is... So here's an interesting one. There's actually a couple of different missions that will want you to scout uh, this cave up here, which you get to by going up like that, which I, I missed it. Whoop. My thing is... I can't think just respawn it. Uh, Good job, Jeff. But, like, if you go down here, there's this whole, like, gulch that goes between that area and this other area that's near the beach that has a bunch of ships in it oh. that have their own set of little radiant missions. I mean, the missions are all generally broken up into like three or four different types. There's scout, there's bounty kill, there's collect drops uh, from enemies. There are kill a certain number of enemies in this area. Um, so they're they're similar, but they go all over the place. And so if you just, if you just pick them up and, and do them, you'll end up going to a whole bunch of different places on the map. So they are repetitive. I'm, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, but and, like, and from what I've heard, the, those those little drop missions with the little blinky things. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if that's what you're talking about. Yeah, um, they're all, they are apparently spawn. Or they are basically infinite. They just they, they keep spawning new missions. Yeah. So it, it, you, if you want to grind and get your level up, that's that's what you do. You just sit there and you play those missions over and over and over. Steel. Yeah. Time to shine some light okay. There's a captain. Fallen. Those are the guys I was talking about before. Um, yeah, but so far, I mean, as a fan of the combat in Halo, I've been having a lot of fun with this particular this particular yeah. game it, type. It does feel like when I got to play it the other day, I will say it does feel like a more mature d version of Halo. And when I say matured, yeah. I don't mean like you know, oh, it's obviously meant for like better game players or anything like that. Not at all. What I basically mean is like it, it really feels like they took what they learned from that and improved on it. Yeah, I mean, it's basically kind of taking Halo from the level of just a multiplayer arena shooter into more of a world, you know, in, into a larger world, yeah. you know, that has just more to it. Um, yeah, I think actually if you go down here, there's totally those, those question mark, question mark guys that'll whoop your ass. Uh, but as you can see, I mean, you can just see how it just started switching over to nighttime and how the lighting is changing. Um, so, yeah, it's a big world, and this is just one area. Um, you know, in years past, this one area could constitute an entire game, but yeah, I get the feeling there's going to be a lot more than, you know. Oh, yeah. No, if you even look at the, the, the map, it looks like there's going to be more. Uh, when or when you look at the uh, when you're in the the your ship and yep. you're you're deciding where to drop set your drop point as it, it you there are places that are locked yeah uh, so I mean there's look you there's gonna be a lot to do in this game so I think we're gonna go ahead and oh it's also worth noting when you do your uh, special attack you see how it generates orbs of light yeah uh, if you're playing in a group with other people your other people in your party can pick those orbs of light up and it will supercharge them briefly. oh. So there's actually kind of an interesting. It will it, it'll it'll reduce the cooldown on their abilities. So it's actually kind of if you're working together really well, you can kind of chain that stuff together, and uh, because those are generated by your super abilities, you guys can you know you can really kind of put together um, like a a train of super abilities. That's uh, nice. I did not know that. That's actually really cool. Yeah, there's a lot of little stuff like that in this game. So, but anyway, folks, we're going to go ahead. We're going to cut it off here uh, since this is already going to be a big one. Uh, but we are going to be back tomorrow, unlike usual, with another part of Destiny where we're going to show off the rest of the stuff that we haven't shown off today. Two parts. Yep, two Don't parts. Don't you feel special. You should.